Hello there everyone, the Andrada here, and welcome back to episode number 100 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play series. Who thunk that when we started this whole thing, uh, that we'd be at 100 episodes? That's crazy. I didn't think it would go that far, but it did, and I'm super happy for it. Yeah, 100 episodes. That's crazy. Um... Anyway, continuing on with where we were yesterday. Uh, so after the end of last episode, I was looking to make my Quantum Entangle Porter. Uh, excuse this shift Z for screenshots, the item zoom, um, which still hasn't crafted. And I got to figure out what's jamming it up up there. But I came down here to see what this was jammed up. Remember when I kicked off a point, this was jammed up. I never gave this thing power. When we had set this up initially and tested it out, the pipes had filled up from our inventory and it just took this long for them to empty. But they eventually emptied and came down and I looked and I had no, never set up a flux point onto these things. So yeah, I had to go steal our flux point from our uh, electrolytic separator that we had just set up outside for our chlorine to put down here so that I could get another one to put out there. Anyway, um, what the heck is stuck upstairs though? Why is our entangle porter not entangle porting? Um, you you did this. I'm not. Where are you stuck at? You're processing ores that are coming in. Um. Yeah, none of you are actually stuck, it looks like. So there's something, it got, it's like it got stuck processing. Let's cancel and then try again. Yeah, you're doing your thing, you're doing the refined obsidian. Why is it getting stuck on refined obsidian? Did I not? Do we not have a recipe for... No, we do. I'm very confused. You were supposed to make refined obsidian ingots. Okay. Refined obsidian. No nothing has been broken since... That goes into an induction smelter, osmine ingot, and obsidian ingot. Okay, so you need to go over to thermal, the induction smelter. Ah, do you just not, are you just not outputting? Why aren't you outputting? You're set as a pole. Auto output is enabled, and you're supposed to be outputting in the back. Oh my, okay. Um, I see what happened. Stack upgrade speed. We have been processing all of that sulfur that we have had a back stuff on. And yeah, apparently clogged our interface here. That'll do it. Uh, stack and speeds. There we go. Now that'll work. And now if we come home and we look up here, the craft should have completed and we have an entangle porter. Okay, cool. So now we can go outside to our reactor and set this guy up. Um, so we're gonna set it up to be everything off, except for the gases you'll input from the back, yes. Again, I've said this before, but I wish there was a way to turn off all of this stuff. Uh, or it should just be off by default. Okay, so you're gonna input from the back and we're gonna set this up to be on a new network called uh, chlorine, chlorine gas set and you are pulling out of there and filling up into there. Good. And let's set this up so that for, again, everything off. 
Except for gases. Okay, so you're going to input from the left and output to the front. Auto eject on. Okay. I mean, it shouldn't matter, but I just like to be safe with all of our stuff here. Okay, so you have none. You're draining. You're going into there, which is going into here, uh, which this has a buck uh, internal buffer of 512 buckets. And then this is going to fill up with its 256. And then this will back stuff. Um, now, keep in mind that these pipes also have their own internal buffer, too, of brine. So these are going to fill up as well, ultimately, as we process everything. So, yeah, uh, we got speed. We got energy. So you are going as fast as you possibly can. OK, so there is chlorine. And I could set up one of these for sodium, too, just because we're I mean, we're creating it um, in case we ever need it. Uh, yeah, I hate, I hate dumping it and then ending up and then we're going to be like, oh, we need that. Um, so let's just go ahead and let's get another tank. Uh, chemical tank. Oh, and let's, let's do it. Like I said, I just, I hate the idea that we're going to need it and we're going to need lots of it for some reason. And I've been burning it for no reason. I'm just letting it, you know, fade into the nether. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we'll put you here. We're not going to dump excess anymore. We're going to idle. Um, You need to be set on dump excess, and so do you. No, you don't. That way, when the sodium backs or the chlorine backstuffs, the machine will stop. But the sodium can dump excess. Uh, no, yes, because I don't want it to stop when sodium gets filled. Okay, and then you will be on a new channel called Sodium Gas. Check, and you should start filling up with all of that. Yes. And forget the side config. Nothing else is going to be here. So this is chlorine. This is sodium. We are good to go. Okay. So we have chlorine being produced, um, which was our first step in getting everything set up. So that is chlorine. Now, chlorine is going to be mixed with oxygen. And we our ultimate goal was to turn gunpowder into sulfur dust using, using hydrogen chloride. Did I bookmark hydrogen chloride? No, there we go. So we need a chemical infuser of hydrogen and chlorine to get hydrogen chloride. So we're gonna need a chemical infuser. We're also gonna need another electrolytic separator with water to get us hydrogen and oxygen. And we are gonna need the oxygen later, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, hydrogen, chlorine, and a chemical infuser. Okay, so let's get our electrolytic separator set up. I really should just teach the system how to make the electrolytic separator or really these electrolytic cores so that I don't have to manually craft those because I'm sure that's not going to be the last one that we're going to need. Uh, you? Oh, are we out of room? Uh, no, but we are very close. As in, we do not have room for even one more pattern. Um, let's go, let's make a gold crafter. I don't know why I didn't just do this. I really should upgrade these. I should upgrade to diamond crafters at this point. I mean, I have them. It's not that big of a deal, but yeah. Anyway, um, so let's pop down here and then pop into here and then, uh, crafter central is here. Bam. So now we got some more space. And then we should have everything we need for the electrolytic separator. Yes. And then we're also going to need the chemical infuser. Which is going to require two basic chemical tanks. So that's pretty easy. One, two, and bam, bam. Okay. So, and again, that was for hydrogen chloride in a chemical infuser to make hydrogen, yeah, to make hydrogen chloride. So what we're going to do is come into our machine here and we are going to set these guys up. So we have the electrolytic separator, which is going to require water and then it's going to create hydrogen 
and oxygen. Hydrogen, oxygen. One of these two ways. Uh, and then water. Uh, we do have water available to our refined storage system. So what I really should do is run some cables to the back here. And just have water be pumped into the sky from refined storage. Uh, cables. Bam, 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 bam. Um, and into the back. I think that'll work. We need an exporter. I'm going to need to get a bucket of water so I can tell it to export water. Uh, where are we? Exporter. And we'll see if we need like speed upgrades on this or anything. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you're going to be on fluids water. How are you doing? Okay. And then you need to have your fluids. You need the back to be an input. You are getting water very slowly. Okay. So how about some, how about just a stack upgrade? I think with a stack upgrade, it can move 64 buckets at a time into this thing. Um, we're also going to need a flux point. So go ahead and make that. Bam. And, um, yeah, that's fine. You can just go directly onto there. My network, and you are going to be the hydrogen chloride line of machines. Okay. Um, so you are doing that. Let's get that stack upgrade. And then you'll be able to pull a stack of water. Does that do it? Yes. Um, and while we're at it, I mean, last thing we want is to run out of water in this thing. So there you go, buddy. Now you can stay full of water. Hydrogen and oxygen are both being produced. Uh, I wish. OK, so what we can do. So what do we need for this? We need hydrogen chloride. We need hydrogen and chlorine. So I really want, I want to put the chemical infuser here. So I want the hydrogen to come out the right side, um, which is the, if you see here, that's the cyan and the dark blue. So I want the dark blue to be out on the right. Um, so dark blue and then we need the science. That way we were just reversing. So oxygen is going to come out here. Hydrogen is going to come here. Let's get a ultimate universal cable. Bam. And get our chemical infuser. Bam. So he should be getting... Uh, that's not what I wanted. Did I not reverse this? Output one blue right. I did. I did not want oxygen in here. How do I, if I, if I break you, are you going to uh, void your inventory? No. How do I get this oxygen out of here now? Um, uh, are you serious, you Clark? Do I have an oxygen chemical tank? I do, but it's full figures. Um, can I like, can I pump this out? That was exactly what I didn't want this thing to do. And then it went and did it anyway. Pressurized tube. Can you pull that out, please? Um, gases output. No, you won't pull because that's an input buffer. Oh my goodness. Folks, what do I do about this? 
Get out. Shift click. Why don't you have a shift click to remove inventory? Goodness gracious. That was not intended. I just wanted the chemical infuser to be on the right hand side so it made sense. So that items flew flowed from left to right. But this thing, this thing boned me here. Output. Oh, you know why it boned me? Because I am dumb. And I set this up the wrong way. So yeah, with that now fixed correctly, gases, this doesn't have items. Get out of here. Gosh, this is why I literally like what? 10 minutes ago, I was saying, I wish that these machines defaulted to having everything off just like thermal does. And you could tell it when to what to output when, because now this chemical infuser is absolutely Pointless. It's stuck with this. Can I like, can I recraft it to clear it out? Like, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I guess just, you know, freaking forget you. Just get out of here. God. All right. Let's make another chemical infuser. Good thing they're not expensive. Pay attention to what tab you are working on in mechanism before you, uh, you know, set your machine down. Okay. So now in theory, gases output to the left and you can move this window around, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that the cyan is going to output on the left dark blue or regular blue is going to output to the right. So this should be the hydrogen now. Yes. Goodness gracious. And then oxygen is going to come over here. Okay, so we have hydrogen. Now we need to get a quantum entangler porter. And get him set up. And for that, we are going to need chlorine. Okay. This thing better not get stuck again. I swear. Okay, good. Now, the quantum entangle porter luckily does not get set to a channel or anything. So I can come in here and turn everything off. And off. Okay, so we're going to do gases. Output is going to be to the left and it will auto eject and you are going to be on the chlorine gas channel. And now we have chlorine and hydrogen being combined into hydrogen chloride. Um, I'm going to assume this takes gas upgrades, speed, energy, muffling, speed. Okay, no, no gas. Um, but we can get all the speeds. Uh, let's just do at mech upgrade. Because we're going to need... Let's just do a stack of these because we're going to need them eventually. Wrong button. Stack and stack. And we'll do half a stack of gas upgrades. Some of the machines that we're going to make are going to use gas upgrades. So, um, but yeah, so we got hydrogen chloride going. Sweet. So that was chlorine. And then the hydrogen chloride is going to be used in the chemical injection chamber to make us our sulfur dust from gunpowder. Um, so let's get the, let's get the gunpowder going and then that way we can get our sulfur going. Okay. So gunpowder, we have our gravel, correct? I need gravel to go into a crafter from RF tools crafter. And then that's going to be the gunpowder. Let's put this. Oh, I guess really down an hour. Like this. No, not this area. Yeah, this area. Because this is like our just miscellaneous crafts, things that don't really, you know, require a whole lot of uh, maintenance. Um, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and we'll just pop this guy here. Let's get a. Ultimate Universal Cable, put down this crafter. Uh, we can break this too. Bam. 
and you are going to get an exporter. of gun of gravel to make flint gravel and you're going to export gravel into this guy bam and then our recipe is going to be those makes flint and the flint's going to go out there okay cool um now to be honest this should I need to get items out of here, so we need an importer as well. And one singular cable. Bam. Importer. And bam. And now you should... Can you import out the top? Yes, you are. Not the fastest in the world, but that's okay. You don't need it to be like crazy fast. Um, what we do need though, is to be able to shut off the exporter when say the gravel drop. I don't want it to export when we're low on gravel. Like we want to keep a buffer of gravel. So let's get a detector. And then tell this thing to run when gravel is greater than 2048. Uh, do we need to keep that much gravel in hand? I don't think so. Let's just keep 1024. Do we even need 1024? Let's just keep 512 gravel on hand. So when gravel is greater than 512, go ahead and some a output a redstone signal and only work with a redstone signal. So that should be going just, and I just want to test, let's say when gravel is under, this should have stopped putting gravel in here. Correct, okay, cool. So that way we always keep at least 512 gravel on hand and otherwise this, the rest is gonna make flint. Um, or we could set it to, yeah, no, gravel's fine. And we'll put this into fast mode, even though these things are slow. We'll see. We'll see how how well that's able to keep up with everything. Okay, so that's the flint, and then the flint needs turned into gunpowder, um, which is in a crusher. And then let's go upstairs to our mechanism area and a crusher. Now here's the thing. Do we want this crusher to always be processing flint into gunpowder? No, because we don't want to run out of flint either. So we should have a dedicated crusher just for this. That way we can turn it on and off when flint drops below. And that way we can keep a certain amount of flint on hand. Come on. There we go. Okay. So let's just go ahead and boop. And um, we need a universal cable. Really, this machine should be isolated from the rest of these, but whatever. Uh, we're also going to need another exporter and an importer and a detector. Okay, and then exporter and importer and cables. Okay, so exporter, importer. Oh, and that'll work right off of there, so I don't even need a cable. Okay, um, you've got power, yes. So you are gonna export flint here into the crusher. And the crusher is going to be set to items. The back will be an input. And the top will be the output. You're going to need some speed upgrades, but okay. And then speed and energy upgrades. 
And if we need to turn this into a factory at some point, we can if this is too slow. Um, and then lastly, let's get a detector. Um, and we want to put the detector, oh, ideally somewhere smart. Ugh. Really, it has to go there. Um, so we're going to detect flint. Only run when flint is above um, 128. I don't see us needing more than 128 flint. And then you are going to run on normal. So if I turn that off, that turns off. Yes, okay. So only run when we have more than 128 flint. That way we keep flint on hand and it doesn't burn through all of our flint to turn to gunpowder. Okay, that is the gunpowder portion of things. So now we have our gunpowder ready to go. And like I said, we'll see if that is fast enough for us. Over here, let's go ahead and get our upgrades at mech upgrades. One, two, three, one. Actually, I don't need three. Just two. No. You. Yeah. And then energy upgrades in both of you. Okay, so you are stuck because you have full... Why aren't you running? Oh, you have no power. Did I not set power up here? No, I did. You have the point. Oh, did I turn? I did. Um, energy. All right. Okay, buddy. Don't be dumb. Energy input. Okay. It was unnecessary for you to be like that. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. So now we have hydrogen chloride being produced. Oxygen is full. Uh, we need to take care of oxygen. Do we have a oxygen? No. Um, uh, oxygen is going to be used at some point here in this process, I believe. All right. Uh, fissile fuel comes from uranium hexafluoride, which comes from you, which comes from you, you. Water, sulfur trioxide, yes. Oxygen and a chemical infuser. Oh, the thing I just deleted. Chemical infuser and sulfur dioxide. Um, though I kind of want that to be its own separate chain, so let's just go ahead and we'll dump this oxygen. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that way we can have another separate line just for fissile fuel. Is it wasteful? Is it, is it wasteful on power as well? Absolutely. Um, do I care? Not particularly. We're about to have so much power. I mean, we already have tons of power and we're about to generate so much more that, um, yeah, I'm not concerned about it. Okay. So now let's get started with the sulfur. Um, so sulfur is, it was sulfur dust and that went into an enrichment chamber. Uh, I'm sorry, the chemical oxidizer. No. Oh, I'm hitting usages. Haha. <laughs> Recipes. Mm, that's the idol on sulfur dust. There we go. Okay. So you go into a chemical injection chamber with the hydrogen chloride and some gunpowder. So we need a chemical injection chamber, um, which we can make all of the stuff except for the purification chamber, which then is going to require an enrichment chamber. To make. Nope, not yet. Okay, so there's the enrichment chamber and purification, and then bam, chemical injection chamber. Okay, so then you can sit. I don't know. I'm trying to do this like in a way that doesn't look horrible. Like what if you sat in the back and then I had items import? No, cause I need import and export. 
Hmm. Um, I guess sit in the front. You filled up with your hydrogen chloride. And then we need to import gunpowder and export the sulfur dust. So let's get you power. Good. Okay, so we need to import sulfur dust, export. Um, <clears throat> so maybe the best way to do that is to get an interface. And if I'm gonna do an interface, uh, but I need to run pipes so I can pull, push and pull. Mm. <laughs> Just trying to make this as clean as possible, as clean as possible here. How could I do this? Because if this is set up here, that exporter is going to be like in the way. I'd only have access to the bottom and not the top because of this. Hmm. If I set the interface up here. Come on. Place it there. I could import. Um, I guess I could split. Yeah, let's do that. So if I split off of this, like this and this, ah, oh man, but I don't think you can set the same side to be input and output, can you? Can I do items? Oh, I can, okay. Um, so if I do this and this, I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna have to see here. Um, and I disconnect this. So we can have this side be a output and this is going to pull, so it should route that way. This is all theoretical. We will find out if this works. Bam. <laughs> so inside of here, we are going to want gunpowder to be in stock. Let's see what happens. So if I say, hey, um, keep, no, not 32, keep, just keep a stack of gunpowder, that's fine. Keep a stack of gunpowder on hand. You're not doing anything. Hmm, auto eject. This is input and output. Hmm. And you are set to pull. So it theoretically should be pulling from here, but it's not. Uh, if I break this, will it do it? No, that's weird. Is it because this is set to pull as well? Oh goodness. All right, what if I just do this? Um, let's cover that up. What if I just get the pipe here? Okay, you're still not pulling um, because that's not set right. You are input. Okay, there it goes. Um, which I don't like. You are going to be the output and you are the input. And let's just, doop. come on, change to normal. Okay, so that's the output. And there we go. So you should be getting, yep. <clears throat> and you're gonna be importing sulfur dust. And you need speed upgrades. We need that, that, and that. I'm going to assume you're going to take gas upgrades. Let's find out. Hey, you do. Okay, and we now have sulfur dust being processed by the system. It's actually not too bad looking. Um, we do want to mute the... Uh, mechanism, we need recent, chemical infuser, and injection chamber, bam, sure, the purification chamber too, you're all annoying, yes, there are muffler upgrades that you can put into these, <laughs> that would make it so you didn't have to use this, but this is free, it's built into the pack, and I can mute it anywhere, so, yeah, why not, I think that looks fairly decently compact for sulfur production, it's not, I'm not 
not not too concerned about that. Not 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 too concerned. Um, you are out of water. Wow, you can't keep up with the water, even with that many speed upgrades. Are you? Yeah, there's. Wait, what do you mean? It's acting like there is no water at all. There's definitely water. That's on. Export liquid water. Did I? I did it again, didn't I? The back input. Hey, there we go. I did it again. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, there is sulfur production, sulfur dust production. That is our first step into our fissile, fissile fuel. We now have infinite sulfur dust being produced. Um, I do not think I set up a chest for a storage drawer for sulfur dust, so I'm going to go ahead and do that in between episodes here so that way, um, you know, we don't clog up our refined, because I did sulfur, but not sulfur dust. Uh, that way we don't clog up our refined storage system with our sulfur dust. But uh, yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.